In this series, I'm going to be answering all your questions about fermentation. Today's episode is going to be about some of my favorite equipment and accessories for fermenting. I'll start off with the obvious, glass jars and bottles. This one's my favorite because it almost perfectly fits my glass fermentation weights. I can fit my hand in it completely when I need to clean it, and I think it looks pretty neat. Although unfortunately, this specific jar isn't made anymore, so I'll be taking extra care of these until I can find something similar. Pressure safe bottles are essential for making drinks and sodas that you plan on carbonating. These are made to a stronger standard to withstand pressure and are less likely to explode when carbonated. My experience buying these pressure safe bottles often ends up cheaper than fancier swing bottles bottles when you buy pressure safe bottles from home brewing stores. Whenever I can, I try to use a fermentation weight. Try to buy ones made from glass or ceramic as these are non-reactive, reusable and won't stain or smell. I always like to have a few airlocks on hand whenever I feel like it may be necessary for a ferment. This is an airlock, it's got a couple funny bends in it which hold a small amount of liquid. This makes sort of like a one-way valve that allows built up gases inside the vessel to escape while preventing any outside air from coming in. I always save good quality elastic bands whenever I need to cover a jar with cheesecloth or to close clip top jars with just enough pressure to allow build up gases to escape. And finally, get yourself a thermometer that you can place around your ferments in order to keep track of temperature. Keeping track of the ambient temperature will help give you an understanding on why things may be fermenting too aggressively or not fermenting much at all. 